Hi everyone, so today I have another Poundland pet haul. They are doing, yet again, more really great pet products. I didn't pick up an awful lot because some of them were either things I had already from different brands or they were things that I didn't need or they were hamster related. So I did buy a couple of bits, but I also bought some bits in just Poundland to use with the pets. So I'll go ahead and show you those too. But I really would recommend checking out Poundland. If you haven't seen my first Poundland pet haul, I'll link it in the description. They've got a great new pet range and they've got things like finger groomers, tunnels, willow sticks, which is one of the things I didn't buy because I've already got lots of them and I was a grow with Willow anyway, so it's not as if I need to buy them. And they had loads of different things and loads of fish products. So I'd che recommend checking them out sooner rather than later if you're interested in some of the products. So let's start with a few pet range products that I did buy. The first thing I got was this grass house. I was going to get this the first time around but I wanted to stick to a limit of £10 the last time. So I decided to pick up this time and this is just great for a pound. You can get these much smaller about the size of my hand or the middle of my hand for 75p in pets at home and they're great and I love to get them and stuff them up with hay for the guinea pigs but an even bigger one for just a pound is great and this is such a great size for especially baby guinea pigs and mine will definitely squeeze in here and the great thing is they won't get trapped because they can chew their way out it will stretch and it's completely destructible and it's one of those things that you don't want to pay a lot for because it's you know it's you don't want to buy something and then then wreck it within hours whereas for a pound it's just great and I don't care if I have to buy a load of these in the future they can destroy them as quickly as they want and I'm sure they'll absolutely love and having fun with that. I then got three more of these little small wooden fiddlesticks bridges and they're just great for all purposes so I just thought I'd pick up three more and you can also paint them with your soy paints so I'm going to do that and see what I can create with them and you can also connect them and things like that but these are just great easy to paint easy to throw away if they get damaged or broken so pound each and I got three so the next and last thing I got in this haul from the pet brand mini mates from Poundland I got this four pack feeding bowls and they are just a pack of four really brightly colored feeding bowls and they're obviously plastic so I wouldn't recommend them for animals that chew like gerbils obviously all animals chew but ones that will tend to chew plastic such as gerbils and I have had a similar type of pack like this before in the past and I really liked it but I don't know where they went so I thought I'd get another one they are small but I'm probably best for hamsters and things but I mean they're great for bowls that you can use in travel cages hospital cages with guinea pigs so I just thought I'd pick it up because these type of things come in handy all the time and again for a pound four little bowls you can't really go wrong so let's get this open and I'll show you what they're like I haven't got any scissors and sellotape on the on the box okay I'll just wrap it so we've got green blue yellow and pink so that's what they look like so like I say these are great for a travel cage or a hospital cage because they're not too big and in that kind of circumstance you would be having one guinea pig they're not stackable I thought they might be but really nice colors really cheap 25p each if you can say it that way because it was a pack of four for a pound and yeah I really like these pretty nice little bowls so now on to the non-pet items that I'm still using with the pet. I got a pack of this willow edging. It comes in so handy for DIYs, for areas in the garden for the pets where I like to block it off. Lots and lots of different reasons and this is completely safe. You need to make sure with willow edging that it's had nothing varnished on it or anything but the Poundland one always tends to be safe because it's cheap and you know it's done as cheaply as possible but this is great. It's just safe willow sticks. I think I've mentioned previously that we do grow our own willow so I do have willow sticks that I'll give to the guinea pigs from our own grown willow but I do like to buy this because it's nice and cheap and easy to take apart and you know you can keep it with the wire on if you want but I would personally recommend to take the wire off just in case unless you're using it for supervised conditions like to block off an area in a garden but otherwise definitely take this off because it can be a bit 
spiky and dangerous for them. So the Halloween stock are finally in and next I thought I'd get one of these pumpkin candle holders. I have, I always keep all my Halloween and Christmas items and I don't like to buy Halloween things until October and I don't like to buy Christmas decorations until November. So I've cheated myself because I've gone and got a Halloween thing. But um, I already have one of these in white and I didn't see this orange one last year. And I'm always nervous with Poundland in case they don't bring the stock out again. And I just really like this neon one. And I use these to hold hay in the guinea pig cages and they look really good. And I just think this orange one looks really, really nice because it stands out so much. So I thought I'd pick that up. And then the last few things, again, I have annoyed myself because these are from the Christmas range. But I don't, I don't know, I don't think I class them as technically, apart from these, as Christmas. Because they are frozen and they could be used for a frozen party. I am obviously, if you haven't guessed already, going to use these for a theme for the Christmas time. But I just thought in case Poundland get rid of them and don't use them again it was just the perfect timing for me to pick them up so I got these little decorations and they have Anna and Elsa on and they're just really nice glittery tiny little decorations that'll be great for a theme and also I can use them, them at Christmas time as well because they're just nice and pretty and why why not and then I picked up from the kids aisle a Anna and Elsa little plate and this can be probably will probably be used for veggies or pellets for the theme but um it's quite nice i quite like that and then i got some tinsel like i actually got two because i again i was worried in case poundland didn't restock them and these just have pictures of anna and elsa on and it's just the frozen colors with some snowflakes on and there's the other one and then at the back i was really happy with these because i like i like to use these gel clings in my halloween and Christmas cage theme so when I saw they had frozen themed ones it was really good so these are just the little gel clings that you get and there's kind of snowflakes and blue leaves and I don't know what that is some sort of Elsa splodge I don't know but yeah I I'm not gonna class them as Christmas even though this is a theme for Christmas time it's not Christmas okay I'm not going mental and buying Christmas things too soon it's frozen and that's what we're sticking to and I also forgot to show you these paper chains that I found and they're all frozen themed and there is a ton of them there's a, a load of each colour or each pattern so I thought they would be really good for the cage theme as well so that is everything that I got in this Poundland haul again I'll link my last Poundland haul in the description box in case you want to check that out thank you so much for watching remember to give the video a thumbs up and a comment I appreciate it and I'll see you all next time bye everyone